Hey guys, so for today's video, we are doing another speed reviews video where I'm gonna go over a bunch of products I have used within the last, I wanna say like six weeks or so, and give you a little mini reviews on them. I've really been enjoying filming these videos because I get to talk about a bunch of different products, not just makeup. So these videos are kind of focused more on skincare, body care, hair care, things like that. But of course there is makeup as well. And before you ask, yes, I did film this eye look. I did a, a kind of classic smoky eye tutorial with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, and that'll be my next video up. All right, these videos are usually pretty long so let's just dive right into it. I have two lip products here so the first one is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I believe they had an older version of this that was in kind of more of like a tin packaging that would kind of get like roast and stuff. I think I have that one and then this was sent to me like a couple weeks ago and I was like sure I'll try a new lip balm. I freaking love this. This is my new like go-to lip balm and what I really like about this is actually the applicator. It has a really nice little slanted tip to it so the way it like fits on your lips is just like perfect. Perfect. It is so moisturizing and makes my lips feel amazing and they feel hydrated afterwards Like you know how some lip products make your lips feel less hydrated I've been putting on this lip balm before I start like any of my makeup looks This is my new like go-to lip product a lipstick formula I've been loving are the new ones by lawless This is the forget the filler lipsticks now They sent me a whole PR box of all of the colors and I did a little swatch video It is up on shorts I'll link it down below for you if you want to check out more of the colors I really like the shades they launched of this you have everything from like a super duper pinky pale nude all the way to a red and they are a satin cream formula which is my personal favorite lipstick formula now these are called the forget the filler lipsticks because they have that one ingredient that's like the plumping ingredient in their entire forget the filler line and I do really like a lot of products from that line one being the little lip gloss oils I'm literally wearing one right now I freaking love these so I was super happy when they came out with it in more of a lipstick form and it's not too tingly you know like you wear like the Too Faced lip injection your lips literally burn there's no burning feeling but just maybe a tiny bit of a plumping feeling so I've really been liking these a product I've not been loving is the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray now I think this is the first one size product I've tried I don't really think I bought much from the brand. I've never gotten PR from them. And I was seeing this all over TikTok and everyone's like, this is amazing, especially for the summer. The idea of a mattifying waterproof setting spray just sounded amazing, right? Um, first of all, it looks like a little hairspray can and it kind of feels like hairspray when I spray it on my face. And then I don't know if you guys saw, but some people got defective products where it like actually sprayed out white and like literally got their whole face white. Mine doesn't do that, but I just, I don't like it. Let me... Yeah, it feels like you're spraying hairspray and it kind of like chokes me a little bit, like it gets in my mouth. I just, I don't think it really does much. I don't know, did it mattify my skin? Cause I was feeling a little glowy there. I don't think it did. So I'm glad I bought the mini size because I don't really like this. So I probably won't finish it don't really recommend. But if there are any products from one size that you would love, please let me know because I would like to try more from the brand. A product that I really wanted to love but it's just not working for me is the new mascara by What's Up Beauty. It's called the Watch Me Mascara. Now I was super excited to try this. The owner of What's Up Beauty is so sweet. We'll like message on Instagram here and there. Like she sent me her palettes. I've done videos for them before. And so when she was coming out with her first mascara, I was super excited. And what's cool about this is that it's one of those like double-sided wands where like this side of the wand is kind of more like bristle and then the top one is more kind of silicone so you start with the is bristly the right way to say that I don't know so you start with the bristly side and then you take the silicone side to really like comb through your lashes and it makes my lashes look amazing and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna love this um it smudges and flakes on me so easily like within an hour of having this on it's underneath my eyes it's transferred on my eyelid which is so frustrating even days where I put like so much powder on my eyelids this will still transfer on there so I hate that it doesn't work for me, but I think it's a good mascara. I've talked about this product a few times now. It is the new Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Blushing Veil. I have been loving this so much. I keep saying I want to buy more colors. I just did a declutter where I went through all of my blushes and I feel like I have so many, but this formula is just so beautiful. What I really like about it is that you can wear it on a really no makeup day. Like you can put it on bare skin and it's still gonna blend beautifully or it looks beautifully on top of a full face of makeup as well. Like really these balmy kind of products from Makeup by Mario are just amazing. Another product I've been using just for funsies here and there is another one by Lawless. It is the Summer Skin Vacation Glow Multi Stick. So I think they have two shades of this. I have the shade Summer Skin, which I believe is a lighter one. And it's literally just kind of like a big highlighter stick that looks like that. But what I like to use this for is like my shoulders and my collarbone. Okay, watch this. You do a little, little twirl right there. And then I take the little buffing brush, which I actually really like. 
and it just gives you like a soft little glow. It blends in super easily. The smell. Yeah, it has that kind of like, I want to say Sol de Janeiro smell, kind of coconutty, just warm summer vibe. So this product definitely isn't like a necessary product to have in your collection, but it's just something fun and new I've been using. And I do like using it when I remember to put it on my chest. I have not tried it on my face though. I'm honestly a little scared to it. It is a very, very balmy product. But maybe it would look good. Maybe on like my next no makeup day. Oh, these would be good together. Just a little bit of this blush, a little highlighter. I'm going to try that. I'll try it next time. I'll let you know. Okay, kind of going into body care. The first product I'm going to start with is this Native Deodorant and Body Spray. So I did a sponsorship with them a few weeks ago. They sent me a couple of the scents and I've been using it since then. Now this is the first spray deodorant I have ever tried and it doesn't last all day on me. I want to say it lasts about five to six hours before I start smelling myself and I'm like, ooh, either I need to reapply or put something else on my armpit. But what I do like about this is that it also doubles as a body spray. So it actually comes out completely white. Like I'm wearing a black top today. You know, nothing's going to show up. So I've been using these more as a body spray. I keep one in my gym bag, kind of just spray throughout the day at the gym because I do get smelly and very sweaty at the gym. But I do just like Natives products because they are paraben free, aluminum free, and I do really like their scents. The one I have right now is the sea salt and cedar. It's a little more kind of masculine leaning, but I love Oh, it's so good. So I don't like this as a deodorant, but I like it as a body spray. Oh, I do have another deodorant to talk about, which I normally don't talk about deodorants that much. Um, it is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Deo Aluminum Free Deodorant. So this was sent to me, and when I first received it, I almost put it in my giveaway bin because I normally don't like the pistachio sea salted caramel smell. I find it a little overpowering, very overwhelming. I have used like the body cream of that before, but I was like, mm, let me just try this. And I really like this deodorant. And I find that I do really like the smell of the pistachio and salted caramel, but like I said, the body cream was way too overwhelming, but the deodorant is very nice because I'll put it on and then throughout the day, I'll just get like a little whiffs of it. And I'm like, oh, I smell really good. But the problem with this is like the packaging. I don't know if you can tell, but like part of this yellow part has chipped off and I don't really know what's happening. And I'm worried this is going to like fall out at some point. So the packaging kind of sucks, but I love the smell of this. And this does keep me smelling good throughout the whole day. unlike the native one, but I wanted to ask you guys too, if you've tried the um, little hair conditioner mist from them in this smell, because like I said, I like smelling like this and it feels like a very me scent, but I don't like the body cream. So if you've tried the hair one and like, if it smells good, if it lasts throughout the day, please let me know because I want to pick that one up. <laughs> I have a couple more body products here. So I bought this, I think it's called OC. I think that's how you say it. It's the OC body oil. Now, I feel like I say this in all of my like speed reviews and just different kind of videos. I suck at moisturizing my body. I'm trying to get better at it. And a couple people recommended this body oil to me because I think, oh, I dropped the, let me go backwards. I bought the Tatcha body oil, like the new one in that mini size. And I was kind of liking it, but I asked people for recommendations. A lot of people said this one. So you can see I've used like almost a third of it at this point. And I do think I really like this body oil. The only thing like it was, I think it was really expensive. I think it was like 50 plus dollars for this bottle, which like, I don't really know what is normal because I'm pretty new to body oils, but I love that this comes in a pump. It's so easy to pump out. And what's nice about this is that it blends in so easily and it doesn't leave me feeling feeling sticky or gross afterwards, which is kind of like my biggest pet peeve with body products, you know? And it has a very light scent to it. It's a little citrusy, but the scent goes away and it's not too much. But another question for you, like I said, I'm new to body oils. I like to apply it after a shower, but do you apply it when your skin is damp or when your skin is like completely towel dry? I've tried both ways and I think damp works better for me, but if you've tried a bunch of body oils, I would love to know your thoughts. Another body product that I have been loving recently is this Tanologist Hydrating Gradual Tan Lotion. It's the Daily Glow. I'm almost out of this. Let me just start with that. I already have repurchased it. That's how much I love it. As you may or may not know, I do self tan and kind of in between tans or if I want my tan to last longer, I like to apply some kind of gradual tanning lotion that's not going to give me a lot of color but it's really going to hydrate my skin and just kind of make the tan last a little bit longer but honestly I would love this even if it wasn't a gradual tanner if it was just like a regular body lotion like that'd be fine with me too what I love about this is that it's such a lightweight milky consistency so watch this it comes out 
I have to like really squeeze it because I'm getting a I'm getting a little low here. <laughs> so it comes out and it blends in so easily. I was using this old body cream by Caudalie and like it would take so much work to blend it in, but this blends in in seconds and again does not leave me feeling sticky or gross. It has a soft smell to it kind of more on the warm side, but again, not too overpowering. I can easily throw this on my body after a shower. I just kind of swoop, swoop all over the place. Like I said, I already have repurchased it. I actually repurchased the brightening one that's still a gradual self tanner. Just I want to try some more from this because I haven't really tried much from Tanologist, but I am in love with this. Another body product that I've been loving recently is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub in the Scent Sate Barts. I almost said the shade. <laughs> so I think just this year I started watching Lauren May Beauty on YouTube and apparently she has like a whole fragrance channel but she's super into fragrances and she has spoken so highly about this body scrub mostly just like the scent and everything and she was like everyone needs this so I was like sure I trust her I'll go out and buy it. This smell is so incredible. I literally suck at explaining scents. Can I find it? Okay it says it has notes of dragon fruit, orange blossom, tuber, tuber rose? Tuberose <laughs> and Baltic Amber. So I think it's the warmth of the amber that I really like. Other than the smell, the product itself, it says it's a scalp and body scrub. And I've been loving this as a body scrub because it gets kind of foamy as you start to rub it in the skin. I recently talked about the Tree Hut body scrub in my last empties video. And I mentioned how I like this one way more because it actually feels hydrating and exfoliating at the same time. I have used it on my scalp, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference when I use it on my head. But my boyfriend loves this on his scalp. Like he cannot go a week without using this on his head. Ooh, they have it in a body cleanser too and creams oh no okay we'll come back to that <laughs> but anyways I have been loving the scrub and I'm totally going to repurchase once I finish it I might try some other scents but this scent is freaking amazing another body kind of product that I have been loving is actually a little trimmer and this is by Meriden I feel like in every one of my speed reviews I'm talking about hair removal in some way but this was sent to me by them and what I really like about it is that it's so lightweight it's this super cute yellow color they have a bunch of different colors by the way super cute yellow with this little sleeve on it that can come off and it says bear buzz bush which I just freaking love it also came with I think three different attachments for different lengths depending on how long you like your body hair to be but I just go with the give me as short as possible you know you just plug it in to charge it and good to go so I just use this around my bikini area because I am getting laser hair removal done on my legs they do say you can use this in the shower and I've tried it but I feel like when I use it in the shower I get way more cuts and nicks than when I just use it dry so I know this is a super random product but I've really been liking it so I wanted to mention it in this video all right we just got a couple more products here and next I want to talk about this hair line in general it is the new bumble and bumble seaweed line I just grabbed the conditioner out of my shower because there's like four products and I didn't want to bring them all up here but in this line they have a shampoo, a conditioner, a little scalp scrub, and a air dry cream. What I really like about this whole line is that it's hydrating, but it also really helps with your scalp moisture. So ever since I cut all my hair off, whenever I use hair products, I feel like a lot of them are touching my scalp, right? Because I don't have much hair up here. Most products are hitting my scalp at some point. And because of that, I feel like my scalp has become not like sensitive, but like it'll get itchy within a few days if I don't wash my hair as frequently. So I find myself washing my hair maybe like every two, three, three days where when I had long hair I'd wash it like once every five days. Anyways my scalp would feel kind of itchy and dry but ever since I started using this line about a month ago I think they sent it to me my scalp has not had any issues at all and it's also safe for color treated hair which is very important because I'm feeling some crazy hair colors in my future. <laughs> While I do like the shampoo I wish it lathered just a little bit more in the shower but like I can get past that but it still makes my hair feel clean. I think the conditioner is my favorite. It says it's a lightweight conditioner but in my mind it's more of like a medium weight conditioner like it still feels pretty thick and nourishing so I love this and then like I said the air dry cream is really nice too because again it's hydrating but it has a little bit of hold in it so I'll put that in my hair after I wash and shower and I'll kind of like slick my hair back with the air dry cream and it'll just kind of stay like that and my hair normally wants to fall flat so I've just been really liking this whole seaweed line I have found another sunscreen that I love and that works with my skin and works well underneath makeup it is the then I met you essence light sunscreen 
sunscreen, it is SPF 50. I've talked about this too a lot that I want to get better at applying sunscreen. So I feel like this year I've kind of been on a sunscreen journey, just trying different ones, trying to really understand the ingredients in the sunscreens and like which one works for me. And right now the Elta MD one has been my favorite, my go-to. And then, then I met you, sent me a package of a couple things. I saw the sunscreen and I was like, Ooh, okay, let's try it. I always get so nervous to try sunscreen because it can either go like amazing or just terribly wrong so fast. So the first time I use a new sunscreen, I like to try it on a no makeup day. So I'll do my skincare, I'll let my skincare sit for a little bit, pop on my sunscreen, go throughout my day. And when I wore this one, I had no issue. So I was like, sweet. And then the next day I did my skincare, popped on my sunscreen and I put on makeup and I had no issues at all. If the sunscreen works well with my skincare, my makeup, and it doesn't leave my pores feeling super clogged, I don't have like little bumps afterwards, it's a winner for me. The only kind of downside about this is that I feel like it does take a little bit longer to blend in than like my Elta MD one but it's really not a big problem it's just the tiniest con in the world so I'm just super happy to have another sunscreen that works well with my skin next I want to talk about this new moisturizer from Bare Minerals now this is the skin longevity photo vitamin C brightening moisturizer it has SPF 30 in it and this was sent to me when I first got it again I was gonna put it in my giveaway bin because I didn't feel like I needed a Bare Minerals moisturizer in my life. But at that point, I did just finish my gym moisturizer. So for my gym moisturizer, I usually use some kind of product that like it works for me, but it's not my favorite moisturizer because I'm not gonna put on my Tatcha Dewy skin cream, go to the gym, sweat it off, and have to reapply it. You know, I'm gonna use my kind of shittier <laughs> moisturizers right before the gym. So I finished the e.l.f. one I was using at the time. I got this in PR and I was like, sure, let me try it. First things first, the scent I really don't like. So, <laughs> so the first time I put this on, I smelt it and I was like, I'm going to hate this so much because it smells like cherry cough drops, like cough syrup to me. And I hate that, but it looks beautiful on the face. So it comes out in this like really, really light salmon-y kind of peachy color and you blend it in and it really does just kind of brighten up your face, which I think is perfect for right before the gym. Because like, again, I'm not gonna put on makeup before the gym, but if I can make my skin look a little bit better, I'm gonna do it. The scent does go away after a few minutes, but whenever I apply it, I'm just like, oh, I hate the scent so much. Um, I do mix it with my Drunk Elephant little bronzy drops and that mixes really well again for the gym. And then it does have SPF 30 in it, which is always a plus. I have a new acne cleanser I've been trying out. This is the Peach Slices Acne Clarifying Cleanser salicylic acid acne treatment. So I always like to use some kind of acne cleanser in the morning, always, always, always. The Inky List one is my favorite. And this one, I don't really like. I feel like the consistency of this is a little bit too liquidy and too watery for me that I feel like it's not really doing a lot on my face. I feel like I'm rubbing it in and it's just kind of like sliding off. And I just feel like I haven't really noticed a difference with my skin with this cleanser. I've been using it for at least a month now. And honestly, at this point, I miss my Inky List one. So I don't even know if I'm going to finish this one. Not my favorite. All right, I got one super random product to wrap up this video. And you've probably seen these on TikTok talk or other people talk about them, but they're the little wrist scrunchies that you wear when you're washing your face whenever you wash your face. <laughs> so you put them on like this and you go ahead and wash your face. And what these do is that it stops the water from running down your arm. I normally use these little makeup eraser pads to wash my face because I don't like splashing my face in the sink because water gets everywhere. I would see everyone posting about these and I was just like shopping on Amazon. It might've been prime day, honestly. And I was like, let me try these. So there's like a little four pack, a bunch of colors and they do work. And I didn't really notice how much of a difference that would feel to me as I'm washing my face, but not having water running down my arms like really just makes the whole experience a lot better. I'm sure that you can find these on so many websites. Like I said, I just got mine on Amazon. But in case you were skeptical like me, they really do work. So those are all the products that are new to me that I've been using over the last month and a half or so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.